If you want to land your dream job, you should know that having a portfolio is very, very crucial as it speaks volume about your skills and your experiences. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a Notion portfolio step by step using clear examples. And this will enable you to showcase your work professionally and stand out to potential employers. Once you create an account with Notion, this is what the interface will look like. By the way, my system is in dark mode, which is why it is appearing dark. Now let's dive right in. There are two options that you can use to build a portfolio. The first one is creating from scratch and the second is using a template in Notion. To build a portfolio from scratch, click on add or create a new page in the left sidebar and then add a title for your page. Once you are done doing that, click on add cover to set the vibe. Once you click on add cover, notice that Notion will set a default one for you. So click on change cover to replace it. You can choose from Notion's gallery or you can also upload an image from your device for that professional look. Once that is done, reposition your image by clicking and holding down your mouse on the cover. Then drag it around until it fits perfectly. Once you're happy with the replacements, click on save position. The second option for setting up your portfolio is by using a template in Notion. In the left sidebar, scroll down, then click on template. And then in the search bar, type portfolio. Next, click on see all and then browse through the available options. Whichever one that goes well with your style and needs, double click on that one to apply it. The next thing to do now is to start customizing the sections. You can update the text, the images, and just the layout overall so as to match your personal or professional brand. Now let's continue building your Notion portfolio from scratch by adding key sections that makes it professional and easy to navigate. We'll start with the About Me section. To make it stand out, highlight the text, then select Edding from the drop down. This section is your chance to introduce yourself. So tell us what you do and just let your personality shine through. Now, if you want that clean line that separates your sections beautifully, add a divider. Do this by pressing the forward slash key on your keyboard, type divider, and then select it from the options. The next thing we are doing now is adding the project section. This is where you'll be showcasing your best work. And I said best because this is the section that gives your potential employers confidence in your abilities. So you need to make sure that you're highlighting your most impactful work. So even though it's just three of them that you've got, make sure that they are the ones that showcase your skills the most. Go ahead and insert your divider again. And the next thing we'll do now is to add the skills section. Now this section is where you'd be highlighting what you are great at so you want to make sure that you list the tools the technologies including the soft skills that you bring to the table but just make sure you are keeping it clear and then let's add the contact info section now this is where you would be adding in all the information that will help your potential employers reach you now that we've created the sections it is time to customize each one of them to make your portfolio truly stand out so to illustrate this I'll use the example of a virtual assistant who has completed the data entry project she wants to showcase. Now let's get started. We'll start with the About Me section. I want you to think of your About Me section like an elevator pitch. Imagine you have just one minute in an elevator to tell someone about your services. What should you do? It means that you need to be brief, right? But then your words should be strong enough to make an impact. So just like that, your About Me section should contain these key elements. You might want to note them down. The first one is who you are. The second is what you do and who you do it for. And the third one is your unique skills. Lastly, your passion. So let's use what we have on the screen as an example. I, I am, let's say the virtual assistant name is Rita Do. So this tells us who she is, right? I am a skilled virtual assistant explains what she does. I help busy professionals and small businesses defines who she does it for. I specialize in tax management and whatnot are her unique skills. My passion is to make sure businesses run smoothly, highlight her passion. So this is just an example. You want to make sure that you tailor yours to reflect your own skills and experiences. Let's move on to the skills section. You want to make sure that it is easy to scan through. So you can choose to use a bullet list for this. 
To do this, press the forward slash key on your keyboard, type list and select bulleted list from the options. Now, remember that we are using a virtual assistant as an example here. So, highlight your own skills. It doesn't even have to be too long. Just make sure that your skills are on point and they're relevant to what you are offering. Let's move on to the exciting part the project section remember that this is where you want to showcase your work so to make it visually appealing and easy to browse we'll be using the gallery view now the reason is that it helps you to display multiple projects at a glance and it keeps your portfolio organized so to do this press the forward slash key on your keyboard type gallery and then select it from the options once the gallery is added give it a title for this example we'll call it featured projects Next, click on add new page to start creating your first project card. If you want a full screen view for better focus, click the arrow icon in the top left corner. Let's dive right in. Add a title for the project you want to showcase. In this case, we'll call it data entry and contact organization. You can also choose to add properties to give more details about that particular project that you want to showcase. For example, when creating this project, Microsoft Excel was used. So you can add a property and call it tools used and then list it as Microsoft Excel. If there are other tools you used as well, you can also list it. You can also add another property and call it project type. That's to tell the type of project that was carried out. In this case, we can mark it as data entry. Now, your potential employers need to know what that particular project you are showcasing is about. So let's say you are a UI UX designer, for instance. You shouldn't just go ahead to add an image of what you've designed and leave it like that. Or you are a virtual assistant who works on a data entry project and you're like, okay, let me just add a file or an image of the project. After all, I'm showcasing my work. While that is great, as we're also going to be doing that, you also need to describe the project. You need to tell them about the skills you use when carrying out the project, the role that you played, and also the result. That will add value and help them see that you know your craft. So let's start with project description as we see on the screen. Since this is a data entry project that involved contact organization in a spreadsheet, we will describe it exactly how it was carried out. So we can say this project involved transferring contact details from a provided source into a spreadsheet using Microsoft Excel, accurately imputed the information and ensured that proper formatting was maintained and it was delivered in CSV format as required. So you can describe yours exactly how you went about it briefly as well. Now let's add another section and call it my role. If you want, you can highlight it using a list. So talk about the role you played. You can use action words like use, verified, delivered, and so on. Like in this case, we can say use Microsoft Excel to organize the data, verify the accuracy of the information, and so on. Now let's add another section and call it key skills demonstrated, or you can also call it techniques used. Whichever section you think is relevant, just add it. So in this case, I like the skills you use to carry it out, both your soft skills and your technical skills. Let's go ahead to add another section and call it before and after. To add the before and after side by side, you need to use column. So you can click the add button where you want to insert it. Type column. Since it's two columns we'll be needing, we'll select two columns. Now type before, make it a heading, and then do the same for after. Now, the reason for this section is that we want to show them an image of the resource provided and an image of the organized data in Excel. You can also choose to add a file instead of an image. It's totally up to you, especially when you know that an image won't cover everything. If you are done with that, the next thing to do now is to add your images. So to add an image, make sure you are in the column where you want to insert it. So press the forward slash key on your keyboard, type image and select it, then upload the file. You'd notice that the image on the left looks bigger. So to resize it, click on the side of the image, hold down your mouse and drag to adjust. So after completing the project, what was the outcome? In the results section of your portfolio, you want to clearly state the results that you achieved. Also note that this is just an example. You can do yours however you want it. Your results section could even be an image or a file. It could even contain a link to anything that shows your work. So just tailor yours to fit your need. 
Now, let me show you how to add a cover image to your project card. If you want it to be visually appealing, an image is your best choice. So it could be an image of the work you did or something that portrays it. To do this, click on add a property. And then in the box that appears, type files and media, then select it. Once you are done with that, rename files and media with cover image for easy reference. Then add the image that you want from your device. Having done that, go to the project card in the gallery view where you want to add the image. Now click on the three dots at the top right corner. Once that opens, click on layout. Then click on card preview and select cover image. So what this does is that it changes the layout of your project card from page content to cover image. All right, we've successfully showcased one project. To showcase more, just click on new page and repeat the process. We are finally at the last section and that's the contact information section. Remember we said that this section is very, very important because it is the section that you add in all the information to help your potential employers with you. You don't want to create a very nice portfolio and then have your potential employer struggle to reach you that could cost you opportunities and we don't want that so let's create a contact information section that will make it very easy for clients to reach you so let's add links for your email address your linkedin profile and your phone number to do this let's add three columns so they stand side by side so click on the add button type column and then select three columns from the options Let's start with the email address link first you can give it a label if you want in this case let's call it email me then i like the text then if you want to change the color click on the a symbol and then select your preferred color once you're done with that you can underline the text by clicking on the u symbol since we want to add a link click on the link symbol that's that one that looks like a chain and then in the box that appears type mail to followed by a colon that's m-a-i-l T O and a colon and then followed by your email address without any spaces once you are done writing that click on it and then you find out that your email link will now be clickable now let's add a link for your linkedin profile make sure you've already copied the url so start by typing linkedin that's for the label and then underline it change the text color if you'd like to your preferred color and then add a link in the box that appears paste your linkedin profile url there if you over over it you would see a preview showing that that's a clickable link to your linkedin profile repeat the process for phone number you can give it a label that you like So when I did a link in the box that appears, type tell T E L with a colon followed by your phone number. And we are done. Thank you so very much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share with others.